Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create full-size portrait or square video canvases to post to Instagram using Adobe Premiere Pro. Or I've also got this popular square format, which a lot of people ask how to do. So let's get started by jumping into Premiere Pro, and the key to all of this is going to be in your sequence size. So I have some random clips in the timeline, and this helps to already have edited the project like normal, and just be working with your final video clip. So I'm going to go to File, New, Sequence. Now here you can choose from a bunch of presets like DSLR, 1080p, which is a good starting point if you're working with HD footage. But what you want to do is actually go to Settings, and here you can choose your own video frame size. So the video frame size for a full portrait video, like you saw that fills up the screen a little bit more vertically, is 1080 horizontal by 1350 vertical. That's going to make it slightly more tall than it is wide and a 4 by 5 ratio. So I'll press OK and you can see we've got our kind of taller canvas. And all you need to do now is drag whatever video clip you wanted and remember to press keep existing settings because if you change it then you kind of just there's no point. This is going to just place this video inside that box and now we just got to choose how to position it. So whenever you're working with putting a 1920 by 1080 into this different size, you are going to have to deal with some cropping. That's just the nature of this. So increase the scale to make it fill out and move the X and Y position to be at a place that you want it to be. And remember, Instagram allows you to post up to a minute at a time currently, I believe. So you don't have to post a full minute, but you can't post your whole video unless you're using multiple posts or stories. But now I have this portrait mode clip that I've already edited this entire vlog in a just in a previous regular sequence. And all I have to do is go to File, Export Media, and just make sure I'm exporting by using Match Source Settings. This will make sure that none of the canvas or sequence sizes are changed, and you'll maintain pretty much the same original quality that you went in with. So you can export it, put it wherever you want, like on your desktop, and then from taking it from Premiere Pro to your phone, if you're working on a MacBook and iPhone, you can take advantage of AirDrop. If you're working with some other combination of phone and laptop, I'm sure you can figure out a way to send via Bluetooth or plugging your phone into the computer and drag and dropping files. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is create a perfect square canvas like you often see for music video previews. So this time let's go to File, New, Sequence, and we want to choose in the settings a 1080 by 1080 square. That's a one by one ratio. It's going to give us a square canvas. And just how we did before, this time I'm going to drag whatever clip or document that I want, keep existing settings so we don't change anything. And if you wanted, you could do a full size square like this. But to get that top and bottom strip, I'm actually going to lower this right to about 57% or so, whatever fits in. So now we have the full landscape video with some top and bottom space. So I'm going to take advantage of Premiere Pro's layers and just kind of scoot this video up a couple tracks. And behind here, I can add whatever colors, graphics that I might have made in Photoshop or text to create my final square video. So if you just want a simple one, you can go to File, New, Color Matte, and choose a white or whatever color you want, really. I'm going to use white because that's popular on Instagram. You can stretch that out however long you need. And then if you want, you can also add text. So I can add a little bit of a label or caption to this. By the way, you guys should also check out my podcast. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want a full another tutorial on how to do subtitles and captions, I actually have a whole video on an easy way to do that, which I'll refer you to. But here you can basically build and create your square video to post to Instagram. And you'd go through the same thing. File, export, export it by matching source, and then just somehow get it over to your phone via AirDrop or email, and you'll be ready to post it on Instagram. One note to keep track of is for the por portrait mode, when you post on Instagram, just make sure you hit that little diagonal arrow button to minimize it so that it posts in full portrait mode. 
Another quick tip if you want to post to Instagram stories is go to file new sequence and the Instagram story sequence size is basically just 1080 by 1920. So it's a flipped landscape if you can imagine like turning your phone sideways and you do the same thing with this post whatever type of composition or canvas you want in here and you can post things to your story full vertical format. So that's a quick run through on Premiere Pro clips for Instagram and creating canvases and compositions for that. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Go follow me on Instagram at JustinOdisho to stay in touch with me and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube if you want to stay tuned for all my new videos. Once again, I did recently start a podcast a few months ago and I would really love for you to check it out. Do me a huge favor. I'm really working on it. I think you guys will enjoy. So if you want to check it out, you can search the Justin Odisho Show podcast here on YouTube or iTunes and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think.